Hey guys, it's Anna, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some new fragrances that I've hauled. Always very exciting. I got some gems, as usual. And before I begin, I wanted to quick talk about this beautiful necklace that I received from Hey Happiness. This is not sponsored, but kindly gifted. This is their Thick Snake Chain Necklace in gold, obviously. I'm, I'm a gold kind of gal. I have been wanting a snake chain necklace for the longest time. So when they reached out to me and uh, told me I could pick out one of their pieces, like my eyes went straight to this and I love it. Like it's a bit thicker than your standard snake chain necklace. So it's a little bit more bold. It just looks very classy and regal. It's amazing on its own. It's great for layering. I'm obsessed. It's made of stainless steel and it's 18 karat gold plated. It's amazing quality. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. I can really see and feel the love that went into this piece. And I just love their website. They have very, very beautiful pieces. I'm sure you're going to find something on there that you love. They have um, a lot of trendy items, timeless pieces, and their jewelry comes in gold, silver, rose gold. And what I really love about this brand is that they plant a tree for every product sold so you're helping the environment when you're purchasing these beautiful jewelry pieces so if you're interested I will leave the information down below link to their website link to this piece um, and they also shared a discount code with me for you guys so check it out if you're interested I really don't think you'd be disappointed I am fearless, I am sexy and divine. So getting into the fragrances, the first one I have to share is BDK's Velvet Tonka. And obviously you can see this is a partial. Um, I have like about a third of the bottle left. But honestly, that's perfect for me. That's what I was looking for. It's funny because I was thinking to myself the other day, like I really do want Velvet Tonka in my collection, but I don't want a 100 milliliter amount because I don't reach for almond fragrances too often. Um, however, when I do, I will definitely be reaching for this one or Navitus Soir exclusive. But this is a very specific scent. Um, it's definitely like a dark, edgy almond, which I love my dark edgy scents, you know that. But like I said, I'm not reaching for almond on a daily basis. So I was like, it would be perfect if I could find a partial of this fragrance because I love, I love my perfume bottles. Who doesn't? I would much rather have a perfume bottle than a travel spray. And that is just me and my bougie self talking. So I just happened to take a peek on Mercari and voila, a third of a Velvet Tonka bottle was just waiting there for me to snatch it up. And that's exactly what I did. So I'm very excited to have another BDK in my collection and I love the scent. This is a powdery sweet vanilla almond with a darker edgy unisex kind of bitter twist to it. And not bitter in a bad way but I do get like a kind of a bitter dry almond and like a dark rose kind of vibe. So I get the dark rose oil, I'm getting the tobacco, and then it's sweetened up with tonka bean and bourbon vanilla. This is a very grown version of an almond fragrance. Like this definitely has character to it. I feel like when people describe it, they're often portraying this to be like an almond pastry gourmand. And yes, it has gourmand elements to it for sure. But what speaks the loudest to me is that dark undertone in this fragrance, especially in the dry down. Because when I first, first tested this, um, I definitely picked up on some similarities to Reminiscence Drague. Uh, but the more I wore this, I'm like, it's a totally different vibe. And it also has some slight cherry nuances to it. As you might know, um, almond can sometimes lean cherry-like. So a killer combo is with Dossier's Oriental Cherry. That brings me to this fragrance. I tested Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, by the way, if you hadn't figured, it, this is a dupe for that. Um, I tested Lost Cherry a while ago and I enjoyed it, 
but it was too sweet for my preference and too linear, which that might come off confusing because like you see the notes and there's a lot of notes listed in Lost Cherry, but on me, I'm just getting a sweetened cherry liqueur and that's honestly it. Like I wish I got more of those other notes that are listed, but that that's what I get. And it had terrible lasting power, but I love a good cherry note in my fragrances. Um, I'm very picky about it. It has to be done right, but I do, I do crave a bit of cherry. So I wanted it for a layering scent, but I was not about to drop $500 for a freaking layering scent. Was not gonna do it. So during Black Friday, I got Dossier's Oriental Cherry and I'm so beyond happy with it. This layers with so many of my perfumes and it lasts amazingly. I sprayed this three times last night and I could still smell it on myself this morning. Seriously, if you like Lost Cherry, I would just go for Dossier. Like you're getting way, way, way more bang for your buck and it smells identical to it. Like it's spot on. And this combo right here, amazing. This brings out the cherry more from this fragrance and then this adds more complexity and depth to this fragrance. So it's just killer. Also, I have to say, I layered this with Baccarat Rouge 540 and that was the most amount of compliments I have ever received on a fragrance ever in one day. It might be tied for Parfum de Marley Delina, but wow, that was a killer combo. I also got the brand new Kayali. This is Eden Juicy Apple. Oh man. It's gonna be harsh, but it's gonna be honest. I am very disappointed in this fragrance. I'm so bummed. Um, I saw a lychee list in the notes, and I love fruity fragrances. I mean, they have to be done right, but I love them. This is not it. Does this smell good? Yes, absolutely. I don't think there's a person out there that would smell this and think it does not smell good. However, I absolutely don't think that this is worth the money. This straight up smells like a body spray from Bath and Body Works. Nothing more, nothing less. I even handed this over to my boyfriend, didn't tell him anything about it. Uh, not about the notes, not anything. I just handed it to him and I asked him, what do you think about this perfume? He smelled it and immediately he said, that smells like a body spray. So I simply just don't think it's worth it. It's like you're spending so much for something that smells like a body spray when you can just go to Bath and Body Works and get something a lot cheaper. Does this last a heck of a lot longer than a body spray? Yes, 100%. So if a body spray is your kind of vibe, then I would totally recommend this. Then I think you would absolutely love it. This is a juicy fruit drink in a body spray. I also think it's very young smelling. If I were to pair this with um, an age group, I would say high school for sure. Honestly, middle school even. Then a fragrance I am beyond impressed with is Mikalef's Note Veni. I have been absolutely raving about this perfume in my last couple of videos and I finally have a bottle. This perfume is perfection. I love this so much, and this might shock some of you, but this is like currently kind of neck and neck with my Guerlain's Spiritus Doble Veni fighting for my favorite vanilla. That is how much I love it. I've been die hard for Spiritus Doble Veni for so long, nothing has been able to top it. At the moment, they're in a bit of a tug of war. Oh my gosh, this fragrance is incredible. This smells like gold to me. This is a winter fall perfume 
but it has a little bit of this skin warmed in the sun kind of vibe about it. And I was reading the description um, on the Mikalef website and that's how they describe it. I also wanna say I so appreciate that Mikalef includes travel sprays. When you purchase from their website directly, they include a free travel spray with your bottle, you also can get a free engraving. The whole experience is just really personal. I love that they source their products like right there. They grow their own ingredients and the whole process is just so beautiful. I have tried so many Mikalef fragrances and Note Vini is by far my favorite. This is a masterpiece absolutely stunning. This is an incredible boozy vanilla with a gorgeous citrus opening. Um, and I'm very particular about citrus notes and perfumes because they need to be done right, you know? Like they need to smell authentic and real. I don't want any sort of cleaner product kind of situation. They absolutely nailed it. I never knew that citrus and vanilla could make such a good combo. Um, and then the boozy notes in here, I would still really recommend this and try it even if you're not into boozy fragrances because you're not going to smell this and just be like, whoa, like cognac or rum overdose. Um, it's just so smooth and sensual and warm and appealing. It has this slight smoky vanillic sweetness from the incense. I'm obsessed with incense. This is on the last chance section on their website. So please do yourself a favor and check out this fragrance before it's gone. Mika Lef, if you're watching this, please reconsider and keep it because I will literally always repurchase this fragrance. This has become like top tier for me. Moving on, I brought a Chanel back into my collection and I could not be happier. This is the iconic Coco Mademoiselle, but the intense version. If you guys haven't seen my declutter video, first of all, what are you doing? Go. Go now. I decluttered the original Coco Mademoiselle and I kind of regret that decision because it is a classic and I love that fragrance and it really reminds me um, of my early 20s. I wore that a lot. Oh my gosh, my early 20s. <gasps> I just turned 25 and I can't say I'm in my early 20s anymore. <laughs> And I decluttered it because I was getting so sick and tired of people telling me, oh my gosh, that's my signature scent, or that's that person's signature scent, or oh, you smell like Macy's. Like, <laughs> it killed me a little bit. But anyway, you know what? I decided, screw it. If I love a fragrance, I'm just gonna have it. Like, honestly, who cares? I don't need to wear it every single day, but I, if I'm in the mood for it and I want a bit of it, why not? So I decided to pick up the intense version during the Sephora VIB sale. And this is just a 50 milliliter bottle. I didn't need anything bigger than that. First of all, amazing performance. And second, you know, it's not something that I'm going to be reaching for all the time because I tend to want to smell more unique. But when I want to just have a Chanel kind of day, I want that timeless classic sophisticated kind of scent, it's here. So if you don't know already, the intense version definitely holds on to that Coco Mademoiselle DNA. You're not losing that at all, but it is definitely a lot warmer. The original is more um, citrusy, more fresh. This is still citrusy, but this is warmer and it definitely has more of a vanilla presence to it. And I would describe it to be a little bit more of a modern version in comparison, even though I think the original is timeless. So you're still getting that gorgeous, citrusy, patchouli, floral, perfect DNA from Coco Mademoiselle. But like I said, it's more warm, vanilla, ambery, woody. So where Coco Mademoiselle could be your spring and summer kind of fragrance, even though let's be honest, it could be worn all year round. This could be your fall and winter version or your nighttime version absolutely stunning. And last but not least is Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle. 
Oh yes, look at that bottle, just sexy. This is a very sweet, sexy, and addicting, a little bit dark kind of fragrance. This is such a compliment getter. I wore this to work the other day and I got compliments left and right. However, I did accidentally overspray this one day and I really choked myself out and I was dying a bit. <laughs> I said in an earlier video that this was very sweet but not sickeningly sweet to me. Overspray it and it will be sickeningly sweet. <laughs> so I've learned my lesson and uh, I think how you're going to enjoy this fragrance the most is, you know, spray it moderately and you're gonna enjoy it more when you get kind of like whiffs and wafts from this scent rather than just like an ever-present, ever-lasting kind of scent because then you can very easily get um, overwhelmed. <laughs> the star of the show is Tonka Bean and Vanilla, which is why it's very sweet. And I definitely get um, a lot of fruitiness from this scent. There's pear in here, but it's not distinctively pear to me. It's it's very nice, it mixes really well with the other notes, I really enjoy it. And then I pick up a tiny hint of a floral undertone from the jasmine. This definitely has a candy sweet kind of quality to it. It's very seductive, very sexy, and like I said in an earlier video, I could totally picture Megan Fox wearing the scent uh, when she was in her 20s. So those are all the new perfumes that I've recently brought into my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. If you want to see me in any more videos, I would appreciate it so, so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!